and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super, super, super excited today because the Unplugged Horror XL Limited Edition box has just shown up at my door. This thing weighs so freaking much. This box is enormous. Um, so yes. So, for those of you who don't know, Unplugged is a monthly self-care and book subscription box. Um, they do two different types of boxes every single month, an adult fiction box and then a young adult fiction box, and then they also do these kind of specialty boxes throughout the year. Um, last year they did the Horror XL box, this year they did the Horror XL box, so because the Horror XL box last year was my favorite box from Unplugged, I had to get it this year. Um, there were three levels of horror boxes you could get this year. There was the XL, which was absolutely everything, um, and then like the self-care one and the novelty one. So the self-care one will only have the self-care items that are in this box, and then the novelty one would only have the novelty items that are in this box, like, more like the useful, like kitchen kind of fun items. So yeah, I wanted all of them because I love horror. Horror is my, my thing. And I love books, and I'm excited to see what horror book fandoms they have in this box. Um, they also are doing a Halloween-themed box that I also ordered that isn't going to be as horror-focused, but more just like cutesy Halloween whatever, like Hocus Pocusy, Sabrina, Teenage Witch kind of vibes. So I did get that as well because, I mean, why not? <laughs> but yeah, so let's open her up and see what we have. Now there is one item in this box that I know about already and it's going to be a body lotion. And the only reason I know about that is because um, they sent out a warning that one person who has already received this box did have an allergic reaction to that body butter um, and they just wanted to make all of us aware of it. Um, so just letting you guys know. But I do love that they had one customer issue and decided to let every single person know that that could be a potential problem. I think that is great customer service. Woo! She is open. That was really difficult. And there is a bunch of stuff right on top. Oh no, is this a Ouija board? It is. Can't have this in my house. That is terrifying. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. So I got this Ouija board looking thing. I think this is like a doormat or a bath mat. And it's got these like grippy things on the bottom. I hope this is a bath mat. If this is a bath mat, I might actually be able to use this. Ouija boards scare the crap out of me. I like don't fuck with them. Um, so this does make me a little nervous having it, even though I mean it's obviously like something you walk on, you don't actually summon the dead with. So, <laughs> but uh, let's keep going. Okay, so we have our little Har XL box pamphlet for October 2021. Um, it is all of the spoilers. Oh my goodness, there are so many spoilers in this. There's so many items, but we will go through that later. And then it does notify us that our November boxes, uh, sneak peeks are cozy nights for the adult fiction and illuminate for the young adult fiction. Okay, so let's go through. So we have this box here. Oh my God, that is so terrifying. <laughs> um, and it says, it was a big mistake acknowledging this doll. So obviously from The Conjuring, um, the first Conjuring movie, as well as all of the Annabelle spinoff movies. This is so scary. My sister loves Annabelle. Like, absolutely adores Annabelle. I might have to give this to her, but this is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, let me get this. Ooh, I think this is like a headscarf. With like these really pretty, um, like, tarot and pentacle, um kind of things and some like good luck symbols and a skull. I think that's a headscarf. That's really cute. If it is, maybe I'll wear it today. I need some more big fluffy things. Oh, it's a bag. What is this? So you get this bag. I'm not quite sure what this design is, but it's really cool. It's definitely like an empty house, but it looks like an eye. Um, and it says monsters are real and ghosts are real too. They live inside us, and sometimes they win. Huh. What is that quote from? I know that quote. Okay. Oh, 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 we get a candle. We get a candle. It's Stephen King themed, guys. We get, um, from Natural Pure Honest, we get Carrie, a candle. Um, and it is, um, scented after absinthe, blood, and cherry wine. Oh, it even has blood in there, and it, oh my god. I hate the smell of absinthe. But it doesn't smell like absinthe at all. It smells just like cherry. And I love the little blood splatter in it. Oh, that's so cute. They sent us some great candles last year. I believe we got like a blob candle. 
We got a Pennywise candle. We got like a pumpkin autumn candle. Like, oh, just so fun. What is this? Okay, so this is, oh, this is awesome. This I'm assuming is from The Haunting of Bly Manor and it is The Lady in the Lake and it is a bubble elixir um, by Fiction Bath Co. and it is citrus, mint, and fresh water. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells so nice. I love bubble baths, so yes. I also love this box because this is also one of the boxes that I always know the fandoms for <laughs> and I always get so excited because a lot of like the monthly boxes I don't know the fandoms for but like um, if you watched my October um, unboxing I knew all the fandoms in that box so I'm hoping that I know all the fandoms in this box. What is this? This is like a Gill Woman pin sort of creature of the black lagoon but not i don't know what this is i'll have to see what this is. see i just said i think i know all the fandoms and then i pull one and i'm like i don't know what fandom this is but it looks like the gill man but as a woman interesting so there's that what is, this? is this tea no but it is tea and it's from riddle's tea shop which i really 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 like and it's oh it's called a quiet taste like a quiet place that's so cute it's black tea cinnamon ginger cardamom orange cloves Natural caramel flavor, apple, vanilla, um, and apple pieces. Ooh, this is gonna be so yummy. That sounds very awesome. Look, guys, this tea strainer. I mean, this this tea strainer. This reminds me of like As Above, So Below, like the Paris Catacombs. <gasps> it's so cool. It's got a little skull. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, there's so much stuff in this, guys. Okay. Oh, we get Tempting Treats Bath Dust. Oh, the bath stuff. And it is, does it have the scent? Uh, it's Gretel and Hansel, but it doesn't have the scent. What do you smell like? Oh, and it's got like a little, it's got a little witch hat in here. Ooh. Oh my God, this smells like one of those products from Lush. And this actually smells like a Lush store. Like when you walk into a Lush, that is what this smells like. Oh, that smells really yummy. I'm going to have such a fun bath with this. What is this? Is this soap? The Hill House Haunted Halls Tobacco and Spooky Spices Soap. This is so cool. I literally just ran out of hand soap yesterday and I was like, damn, I have to go out and buy it. I should have gone to like Bath and Body Works to get it, but oh my goodness, it's here. This is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy with this. This is like so useful. Weird thing to make a Hill House thing for. Like I feel like I really like the Haunting of Hill House. I would have loved for it to be something a little bit more grand, but it's okay. What do we have here? Things are tangled in a spider. Things are literally tangled in a spider. Okay, so this is the item that they said that I had the allergic reaction to. So this is the Mexican Gothic Silk Body Lotion, and it is Spice Tonka and Blood and Doom, which I think is similar to the Mexican Gothic um, linen spray that we got in the October box. open this up. Ooh, it smells so good. So I'm going to do just a little patch test on my hand just to see if I have any kind of reaction to it. Um, I have real sensitive skin. I've got a skin condition. So I just want to make sure that this isn't like a big deal or anything. So yes, before I just like, you know, dive right on in and use it all over my body, I just want to make sure. So Boom. And then what is this? And then we got Emmanuel Lip Balm. Ooh, it smells like, it smells like cherry. That's really tasty. Oh, it says it's black cherries and blasphemy. <laughs> that smells really good. Okay, and then what is this? This is the little spooky spider. Right, so this is Frankenstein's Monstrous Experiments Graveyard Dirt and Sugar Spice Spicy Scrub. I don't know what a spicy scrub is, but they have um, their own Etsy shop. I can't smell it through here. I don't... Let's see. Is this just like a regular like scrub? Oh, this little packaging is so cute. Oh, the spider's a ring. And it looks like a cinnamon... It looks like a cinnamon roll, and it smells like a cinnamon roll. Mmm. It looks like this is made with like rice or something to make this. I don't know, but it smells just like a cinnamon roll. I'm assuming it's just like a scrub scrub wash. Um, I don't seem to be having any reaction to the body lotion, so that's good to know. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. 
it's like a Dracula and like Mina Harker, like Bride of Dracula pillowcase. In the summer solstice box, they sent us a witchy case in the exact same style as this. Um, but they only sent us one and I was like, oh, that would look really awkward on my bed because I don't have like just one pillow. Oh, and it's, I think it's Christopher Lee as Dracula. That's awesome. Um, but now I have two and one's like all witchy and one's all vampy and they're just like a similar color scheme so I can put them on my bed. Oh, I like that they did that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see my boy. I see my boy. What is this? Okay, so it's very Burton-y. So we've got Jack, Victor, I believe, from um, Frankenweenie, and, and then the Cheshire Cat. Even though this could be Victor from The Corpse Bride, I'm not sure. And then we have like Tim Burton's like signature swirls. I have no idea what this is. Maybe you hang it in a window, but it's very cute. Okay, so those are all of the items. Um, we got this little note from the author and it says, do not enter help here. That's really cool. We get a book plate and then of course we have our book. So let's open the book up. Oh, it's a hardcover guys. Okay, and our book is Dark Things I Adore by Katie Latari. Not heard of this, but let's let's read about it. Three Whispered Secrets. 1988, a group of outcasts gather at a small prestigious arts camp nestled in the Maine woods. They're the painters, bright, hopeful, teeming with potential. But secrets and dark ambitions rise like smoke from a campfire, and the truths they tell will come back to haunt them in ways more deadly than they dreamed. Two Witnesses. 2018. Esteemed art professor Max Durant arrives at his protege's remote home to view her graduate thesis collection. He knows Audra is beautiful and brilliant. He knows being invited into her private world is a rare gift, but he doesn't know that Audra has engineered every aspect of their weekend together. Every detail, every conversation, Audra has woven the perfect web. One dead in the trees. Only Audra knows what happened that summer in 1988. Max's secret and the dark things that followed, and even though it won't be easy, Audra knows someone must pay. And the woman 30 years later bent on bringing the guilty to their knees. In a propulsive tale of trauma, complicity, and revenge, Dark Things I Adore unravels the realities behind campfire legends, the horrors that happen in the dark, and the girls who become cautionary tales, and the guilty who go unpunished. Until now. Ooh, that sounds fun. And this sounds like definitely like maybe just a bit of a nod to Stephen King because obviously it's set in Maine, but Audra is also the name of Bill Denborough's wife in it so interesting this sounds fun this sounds spooky i wish the cover was a little more spooky it feels very like i don't know just not spooky but i like that there's the fall leaves maybe it's the yellow i feel like the yellow is what's throwing me off but, oh oh this is good this sounds good all right so let's go through our spoiler cards where did i put it? okay let's make sure we got everything in here Oh, it is a bath mat. Okay, so we get the Exorcist bath mat, which is great. I really actually needed a bath mat, so that helps. Um, the Stephen King Horror Work Tote. Um, this, yeah, so the Stephen King Horror Work Tote. So it is Stephen King. I'm just not quite sure how it's Stephen king E. Um, but it says this tote um, has some unique personal inspiration from the artist. Uh, more and more when I think of horror... I don't turn to the woods or forces of nature. I turn to imagery, circumstances, and structures created by humanity in an effort to overcome our early roots as cavemen, subject to the will of the brutal natural world. Okay, so it's kind of conceptual. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about the art on the tote, but I like the quote, so I'm definitely going to use that. Dracula pillowcase, creature from the Black Lagoon pen. Okay, so it is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh, that's a bummer. I really wish it was the original... Gilman, because I love the Gilman so, so, so much. Let's see. Quiet Place Tea, Tower of Skulls Tea Strainer, the Tim Burton Tea Towel. Oh, it's a tea towel. I don't know how this is a tea towel. It's really rough. I'm going to use it for something else, I think, because it just, it's so rough. Like, it feels like a potato sack. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll hang it in a window, though. Let's see. We get the Carrie Candle. We get the Bly Manor uh, Bubble Elixir, which I'm so excited for that. Um, and then we get the Annabelle mug, which is super creepy. We get the Gretel and Hansel bath dust. Um, we get 
Oh, it's a soap that's inside. Cute, cute. We get the Mexican Gothic body lotion. It is a horror headband. I like that. Uh, the Frankenstein whipped scrub. The Haunting of Hill House soap. Uh, and the Year of Witching Lip Balm. That's what I didn't know. I haven't read that. I've heard it's really good, though. Um, and then Dark Things I Adore is our book. Ah, that's so fun. Okay, guys. I am, I'm very impressed with this box. I will say I think I preferred last year's a little bit more just because I really liked the blanket that came with it, even though I know we're getting a blanket in an upcoming box. Um, and I think I liked the fandoms a little bit more. Like, we got an exorcist pillow last year, and now we have an exorcist bath mat. I feel like they could have done a different theme. If they had repeated a fandom from the year prior, I would have loved for it to have been it. Um, I really wish the pin was the Gill Man. And this tea towel, I feel like I just can't use it as a tea towel, but it is super cute. Um, and the tote bag. I just, I don't get Stephen King when I see this bag. I don't know, maybe they're doing like dark towery things. I don't know. It's huge though. I do like that it's so big. Like it's definitely going to be very, very useful for me. But no, overall, I do really, really, really like this box. Um, I think this mug is so scary. I think it is so scary. <laughs> this is so great. This candle, this candle is absolutely awesome. I think all of the bath products um, are going to be fantastic. I'm so excited about like the bath fizzes, the bath elixir, the body lotion, the body scrub. Like I feel like I can have like a full luxurious like self-care day with it. Um, this I think is really practical and fun. I just wish we had gotten a better Haunting of Hill House item. But this tea strainer. Oh my god, the tea strainer is freaking awesome. Anyway, overall, really, really happy with this box. I don't know if I said this earlier, um, but this particular box retailed for me for, I think, $105. I think that was including shipping and handling. I absolutely think it is worth $105. The amount of stuff that we get, which, like, I do know, I think, all of the fandoms, but one. But um, I'm going to use all of these items. Like, I really am going to use all of these items. Maybe not the pen. I would have used the pen had it been the Guild Man and not the Guild Woman. But other than that, I will be using all of these items. So I definitely think it's worth it. I think it's really, really cool. I think it's fun. I think it's their best box that they do each year. It's the one I'm always the most excited about. And the fact that we get that, the October box, and then this upcoming Halloween box, we're just going to have so many fandoms of like awesome, creepy, spooky things. And the book. I'm actually excited to read this book. I am currently reading The Stranger Behind Me, which was a book I got a couple boxes ago, and I'm devouring it. I love it so, so, so much. Um, so I'm very excited to be reading more of the unplugged kind of thriller spooky books that they've been sending us recently. So hyped, hyped, hyped on that. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit that like and subscribe buttons down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Mwah.